You go. The rules, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Keep it clean. Touch gloves if you wish. Let's do it. Sweaty palms. This is so crazy. Like these bumps. Like it. How can you snap? How can you snap? How can you snap? How can you snap me? How can you snap? Wow, wow, Wes. To do this. <laughs> <laughs> Just showed Matt, Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless intro Damn. from yesterday's, whatever, what's that show? Just scan, what, is it? I don't think it's first take. It might just be Shannon and Skip. It's not Club Shay Shay. Did you watch Club Shay Shay? I don't know what that is. Club Shay Shay is Shannon Sharp's own podcast. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. I, I was watching a clip of it when I took a dump He's today. wild, but... So there was the the injury to the the Bills player Hamlin this week. Which, what happened to him? Oh, bro, did you see it? No, I was laying here watching the game, and it was like it was terrifying. He got so hit. He got hit in the chest. He stands up, and then he drops and passes out, and oh, had cardiac arrest, and he had to get CPR on the field. All the players are like, you know, they watched the dude maybe die. They're devastated, and then. Who was the guy who hit him? What was he doing? They cancel the game. He was a wideout. It wasn't even like that. Okay. It wasn't crazy. He just happened to hit him right in the middle of the chest. Oh. At, I guess, the exact wrong time. Mm. Um, But then Skip Bayless tweeted out, like, how can we cancel this game? This game's huge. This is an important game. He's football, is, he's football he, is life. But then he did end it with, which all – is it's not important now. He's like this, the NFL has to figure out should they play this game or not. And then he's like, but it all seems so unimportant now. So he did. It's not like he was out there like play the game. Yeah. He ended his tweet with, it's not important. Football is not important. It's about the guy who might be dying. Yeah. Uh, but then you know people started getting on him. Yeah, but I, that that was the nature. I thought the guy just randomly collapsed on the field. My mind was obviously elsewhere. I went. Does this happen this much? What? I'm like, why are these guys all collapsing? Yeah, that's what the happened. <laughs> that's yeah. what I thought, but he got, I mean, first he got thing, struck. First thing, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> they have a player on their team, Cole Beasley, who was, uh, he was, he was against the Vax. And I think he stepped away. He had to, he quit. They really? just brought him back onto the team. And I wonder if when that happened, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, have a lot of people in sports. I'm sure he was devastated. Have a lot of people in sports collapsed? That's the rumor. That's the rumor going around. Yeah, I was because was, was, you watch a lot of sports. I was curious if you see that a lot. Or I've no. never seen the last one who I died on the not died, but uh, Christian Eriksen, this soccer player. Yeah, he's back now. Okay, he's back because that's because kids. You remember remembering like every summer kids died at like yeah. high school football. I, mean, I remember hearing about there is a heart condition athletes get where they just do. Now that I remember hearing about that a long time ago, but I yeah. was wondering, I was curious to ask you. Like, it's hard you... not to bang these recalls right now. Dude. They're so good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so but he got hit. He dropped. He dropped. He yeah. I mean, it was like truly scary. Damn, it was very weird. The stadium's quiet. The whole <sighs> all the players are fucking sad. It was really fucked up. Yeah. Then they canceled the game, which they absolutely should have. You can't. Yeah, he was in critical condition. You can't go back out there after one of your buddies. Yeah, it's almost dead. Probably died. So everyone had to go home? Yeah. There were probably grumblings in the crowd, though. Hey, come on, man. A couple of Skip Bayless. A couple, couple of Cincinnati fans just couple. being like, come on, dude. This is Bengal football. Yes, yeah, Bengal <laughs> This is life or death. <laughs> uh, Damn, dude. But then you saw the what happened, dude. Skip put that out, and people, you know. Just got, the fact that he was like, are we really going to A couple guys hit him with the race card. A couple guys hit him with the fucking... What? They're like, if this was a white player, Skip would have never said this. Like, some <laughs> stuff like that. What? So Skip's on the defensive, dude. He's crap world right now. You should... If you watch that part closely, he's breathing so hard. <sighs> he's got a fight adrenaline going, like, because yeah. Shannon's like, and I disagreed with... Skip's tweet. I'm not going to get into that. He's, well, time out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't going to bring that up. <laughs> I 
can't finish my monologue, Skip. <laughs> what would you do if I died, Skip? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Skip play Skip didn't play football. Fuck no. So Shan, Shannon hits him. SS, with, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. The SS <laughs> officer hits him with that. <laughs> So many times, dude. He's always uh-huh. like, it's a brotherhood out there, you know, yeah, like, yeah. all the time, dude. <laughs> it's so fucked Damn, up. Damn, he's a sports writer. Yeah. And the shit, you know, SS obviously has been SS out there. SS comes on big dogs him constantly. Oh, man. Yeah. But Shannon, or Skip Bayless is a bitch ass, dude. Is he really? Yeah. He like talks shit to players. <sighs> kind of funny, but. He talks shit to SS. He's Does like, he? you weren't that great. <laughs> like, stuff Does like he really? That. Yeah. Shannon Sharp was one of the nastiest players on game day 98 from what I remember. Yeah, he was. That's a good That's a he, good pull. But he was nasty. Yeah. Damn. So that was the whole thing. He was kind of like, dude, let's play the game here. No, that's see, that's the thing. It, it got interpreted as that. It looked like he was saying, how can we? He said, how can we cancel this game? Yeah. It's very important. But all of it. Now it's not important. That was the tweet. It was an old yeah. man fucking. He thought he was getting deep. He did. He was like, this is a new epoch in football. Yes. Of like, We're actually worried about how can we cancel it, though, for real? He should have put a thinking face emoji on the tweet. He would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> or the monocle. <laughs> the one monocle guy. <laughs> but yes. Damn. So he's crushed right now because he wanted to basically discard a young black body so he could go play football. Was yes. that, was that kind so he of could the- continue to watch to see how the playoffs shake out. <laughs> There's so much playoff implications, dude. How can we cancel this? <laughs> Literally a guy, a kid was dying. They were resuscitating him on the field. And he was like- I think he tweeted it while the guy was on the field. <laughs> Being resuscitated. He was like, this is a big fucking game. I mean, like, was, so yeah, t- all right. The more I'm talking about it, yes, that's a bad. He was tipping the spear. He was tip of the spear, but it also does like there are dudes who do say that who are like football's fucking life. This game is my fucking life. It's like, well, there is a life. Yeah, there is a life. And he was like, football's he was life. Out there. Football's life, right? Yeah, They're like, yeah. dude, send it, dude. You're the man. He's like, fuck. Oh, SS, don't fucking talk about. SS buried him on his own show. SS didn't show up the day after. He was supposed to be there. He didn't show up. What? So it kind of looked like it was like he was in unity against Skip for the tweet. Dude, that's the funniest it's two situation. adult men. That's the funniest yeah. situation ever. A guy's dying. And you're like, this is the biggest game ever. Will we stop? Will we not? And it's yeah. just like, dude, you want to kill this guy. You're racist. You're like, you're racist. What? Like, hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to talk about the tweet. <laughs> that's the funniest well, thing. Well, obviously they want to talk about it. The bosses <laughs> asked me to talk about it. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Dude, it was so unbelievable. Nasty. So during this game, they kept cutting... They had to leave the they the ESPN switched to their in studio team mm-hmm. who just had to sit. They had no idea how long this was going to take. Who's on the panel? Booger, <laughs> Booger was on the panel. Adam Schefter and Susie Colbert. Is it Susie Colbert? Who she uh, play for? She played. <laughs> She's the Lynx. She's one of the Lynx greats. Really? No. Nah. She's a sports journal. Adam Schefter, I believe, is a journal. Yeah. Booger, obviously. Yeah, obviously. D-line. Obviously, <laughs> obviously he played. Booger played. Uh, but they they had to sit there and like, w- there's nothing you can say. Damn, I thought about so it. so afraid. You're, you're definitely Shannon Sharp. I'm Skip right now. Why? You played. I you mean, were the bro- you played man, in the It's a brotherhood. Level. You don't understand. I'm Skip, dude. You're just a writer, dude. <laughs> You're right. I'm a game. I was thinking about that before. I'm like, dude, how can I position myself as Shannon Sharp in this whole thing? I was like, nah, I play the game. I'm you watch the game like Adam Schefter. Uh, so, wait, so they were all trying to like put it together on the they're fly. They're all trying to like dance around. Uh, they were all afraid to say something. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it was genuinely an emotional thing. We, have, you just watched the guy possibly die. Is he dead? He's still alive right now. But it was. You're watching like holy fuck. Is and he then still it cuts to these people in one of these sports show, be like man. at the desk. Like that's the thing about football; it's very dangerous. <laughs> but they're like Booger. What do you think about that? He's like, I can't talk right now. They're like we respect that. That's fine for you to do that. Uh, Adam, how do you feel? They should have hit those like. Uh yeah, this is actually the first time a guy almost died in 15 years. They always do like 
facts about like this is the first yeah, batter, they, the first left-handed batter to they strike did. out in 1975. Yeah, they kind of did. Did they? they? Yeah, they were brought up like other times they've seen something like this happen. Yeah. But there was nothing they could say, so they just had to awkwardly do like fake sports talk for 20 minutes. <laughs> Remember when the Challenger exploded? That was, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was pretty nuts too, right guys? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was uncomfortable to watch. Dude, that's crazy. They should have never had them on. They should have just cut the commercial. They should have sold, 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 commercial. sold, commercial. Commercial. Sold. Yeah, because putting three people on in a fucking ESPN studio while a kid's getting resuscitated. Yeah. So they were they like the They were hitting him with like the, the heart shocker? I think they did. You couldn't see it. He's in ICU? He's currently in the ICU. They're still working to get him to breathe on his own. He's on a Yeah, he can't oh, breathe he's on like, his own. He's like, he's fucked up. Yeah, oh, critical yes. condition. He, dude, oh, I, he, my God. I think it'll come out that he did die on the field. Yeah, probably. That's what happened, I think, to Christian Erickson, that soccer player. Really? I think he was dead for like a minute. Jesus. Yeah. Hawkeye was in the ICU as well. <laughs> Wait, who's Hawkeye? Oh, oh yeah, Hawkeye. No one even cares. <laughs> no one gave a fuck, dude. Also, also Dana White hit one his tweet. wife. <laughs> I saw one tweet. Did you see what he got ran over by? He got hit by a snow plow. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's huge. I, it? I Googled it, dude. It looked like Thanos himself. <laughs> 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 you better take that back, dude. <laughs> you think Thanos sent the fucking plow? Just when he was living his domestic life, dude, he finally got to live the domestic life. <laughs> fucking head of he's got. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad. He almost died. He's Holy good. Shit. Dude, look at the thing you got ran over by. It says was run over Only by a Avenger- snowplow weighing more than 14,000 pounds. Yeah, dude, it's huge. He was clearing his neighbor's driveway, being a nice guy. Run over by a seven-ton snowplow. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucked him up. It fucked him up. I saw a picture of it. I went, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> was That's really it. terrible. Is he all right? He's all right. He's in the he's in the ICU, but I don't know why. Don't it's call so- him a dork in the hospital, <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, he's a fucking... <laughs> Talk about why does he look like a dork? <laughs> Hospital selfies are dorky, but dude, he got ran over truly Avenger level of ran over by a fucking industrial snowplow, <laughs> and he's in stable condition. It, took but, a selfie. It's crazy. That was his team. He couldn't work. He was too fucked up. But he said his team took the photo of him. We're coming back out there. <laughs> Dude, I might have to Shannon Sharpie you right now, dude. I do not agree with that. I, I do not why. think that's funny. I don't know why. It's not. It's serious. But Obviously, when I was, it's funny. When I was reading, when I was eating my breakfast this morning, I thought about him like out in the fields, like finally I can relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally, Thanos is defeated. Thanos, Thanos no. The, the team is, they called, they called Robert, Robert Downey Jr. He's like, oh my God, that's terrible. Oh my yeah. God, we got to get down there. We get the, I might have got the team back together. We might get a new Avengers movie out yeah. of this. Hopefully the flash gets out. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking gay dude, that's a criminal. <laughs> dude, Have you I, seen what the flash has been up to? No, what the hell is he doing? Dude, he's like a gay criminal sex <laughs> freak, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep forgiving him. Wait, what? I don't know how the Flash hasn't been canceled Wait, yet. Wait, so the, agen- the uh, Avengers are just completely fucked right now? Right now, Thanos is winning, dude. Fuck. Damn, there's... What's he been up to? Uh, <laughs> Several scandals. Was he hit- Would you hit anyone with uh, some uh, Don it's Lemons? Ezra Miller, that guy, oh, Ezra. Right. Who's that? Uh, I didn't know until I recognized him from the photo. The Flash. The Flash That's the best one you. possible to He's be. He's this guy. A gay criminal. <gasps> what? Was he? Is he doing like gay sex crimes? I'm trying to find the gay sex crimes. Right now it just says dark allegations. <laughs> what did they say it was? It says it's, it, oh, at the beginning just says dark allegations. Dude, this guy's the same height as me. Damn. A video oh, yeah. surfaced to show Miller strangling a woman and throwing her to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> a flash. Oh, so he's, <laughs> he's a gay evil. guy that's beating up like women? I think so. That'll get you. That'll that's a that'll at least soften the that's charges. A, this is great though. In September of twenty two, a representative for Miller claimed that the strangulation was a spontaneous reaction spurred on by a group of teenagers taunting Miller over their MMA skills. What? A couple months later, <laughs> he got arrested in Hawaii. With physical altercation with patrons. They got a they got an attitude over there in Hawaii. I'm not they saying do. you know I'm not saying if I was Ezra Miller, I'd you know I don't condone him. I don't condone the flash fucking choking. Miller claimed he was accosted by a Nazi in Hawaii. 
Really? They have been known to hide there. They do love tropical oasises. If you unscramble the Moana swirl, it does form a swastika now that I think about Dude, it. Dude, you know the Chipotle symbols, the Namba man boy love? Come on, man. Inside the Chipotle pepper? Oh, the swirl. You never noticed that? That's why I stopped eating there. <laughs> Is that why? Yeah, I said. Yeah, I mean, their guac kind of <laughs> went to shit, too. But. <laughs> uh, their guac is fucking bullshit, dude. Uh, really? I haven't had it in a long time. It's, it used dude, to be such a delicious treat for we us. We ate, the last time I ate was with these two guys. We went to one in New York back when we recorded at the stand, and it was it was so fucking bad. I was like, never again. I'm done. I was disappointed. Chipotle does not travel well, either. If you order Chipotle. Oh, God, dude. Pretty horrendous. Fucking cardboard containers always smashed. Half of it's hanging out. Yeah, that's upsetting stuff. To talk that's upsetting. I don't want to talk about this stuff. This is upsetting. We can joke about some of the like deaths <laughs> and people being mauled by snowplows, but do not talk about how Chipotle. Don't got start ruined. joking about your guacamole sticking to the tin lid and being like, Dick, "That's done. That's on. It looks that upsetting. Sucks. My cheese looks smeared. <laughs> the hell is this? Not it even displeases spread, me. This, the cheese isn't even spread across my bowl. Who let the fucking imbecile out of this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's terrible when bad things like that happen, but I do have a part of me that the Hawkeye one, I couldn't stop laughing. Hawkeye, but, that's just, tough, though. That's like when you get designated, like when you're the Flash or the Hawkeye or something like that. It's like when someone's dog dies and they tell you about it and they're like, Mr. Peanut Butter had cancer. <laughs> yeah. You're like, that's funny. He, he has a funny name. It's funny if they die. Like Superman fell off a horse and was paralyzed. It is funny. There's irony there. Yes. Yeah, excuse me for recognizing irony. Hawkeye Can't getting hit by a snowplow. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> the idea of it. Obviously, that's sad. It's so Jeremy, sad. Jeremy Renner, the human getting mauled by yep. a snowplow, not funny at all. Not funny at all. Him, the Hawkeye flag, being no, like... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, was the guy, who was the actor that got like pinned against his garage? Uh, by a car. Chekhov from Star Trek. Was that who it was? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> that, that sucked too. He got out of his car to check his mail. Yep. It rolled down the hill and got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> That's bullshit, dude. dude. That's such a bullshit way to die, dude. <laughs> Getting hit by your own. It was like me and Red Dead getting hit by that deer, dude. That's, That's what I'm a saying. fucking out of nowhere freak accident, dude. Unbelievable. The stuff's not funny, guys. <laughs> stuff's it not actually funny. is not funny, dude. Freak accidents. Matt, be- t- time out. Hold on. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to bring up that tweet. <laughs> dude. Skip, can I finish my law? <laughs> that Ooh. was... My that bad. almost looks fake. Although Shannon Sharp's voice is a little, you know. I'm trying to do the impression. I wasn't trying to be offensive. What do you mean? Oh, dude, he's... Let me finish my law, Skip. <laughs> That's not offensive. I was just watching Club Shay Shay when he brings on a uh, <laughs> dude. It's a, it's a good podcast. I was it's such a funny name, but he brought on um, Waka Flock of Flame, and Waka Flock of Flame That's was good ba- he was on there just being like, dude, like I don't I don't kill. I've never killed. I'm not like a gangster rapper. He's like I, I used to rap about this stuff. But he's like, dude, I I'm a nice guy. He's like, I would never sell drugs. He's like, I would make millions of dollars. Why would I sell drugs? They're talking about the whole yeah. young thug situation. I think there's a lot of rappers that are starting to get a little like, ew, boy, they can, yeah. uh, they can, dude, apparently they're, so if you, if you rap about something. Yeah, they can use it against you. Only if it pertains to a crime that they can prove actually happened. So like they can like, he, so if you just say I killed, but they can't be like, well, he said he killed people. But if you like reference anything that can be tied to a crime, yeah. then they can absolutely use it against you. Like he had a lyric that said like she got robbed by Tick. That was his one of his aliases was Tick, Tick and Slug was his ali was his alii, and he was like she got robbed by Tick, and they were using that against a, a lady saying he robbed her. And like, well, Tick and Slug, Tick and Slug, Tick and Slug could be us, dude. It's <laughs> 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 good names. The YSL is Tick and trouble. Slug secret podcast, dude. Dude, his nickname, Might nickname a, games on point. Yeah, rebrand. Dude, that is actually really nice. <laughs> they, had, <laughs> they had uh yeah, they had group chats apparently where they'd be like, Yo, did you shoot that guy? Like yes. man, saw- <laughs> I shot him. Dude, literally, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Crazy the level of uh just they shoot. Some of the people shoot. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, guys we, are I, shooting. I don't want to talk about that. Come on. No, man. time out. I mean <laughs> people in general, not just slug and ticks. Oh, for sure. For sure. Not just slugs and ticks. <laughs> 
I was watching. Uh, I watched a good one last night. It was called This Place Rules. You you ever see the kid do the all gas no breaks? Mm. Curly haired kid wears a brown suit, does interviews. I think so. He's got a good one. It's on HBO. Mm-hmm. It's about what led to the Capitol rise. It's pretty great. Really? He's just going to different Trump rallies, interviewing. It's what? a it's a comedy. The way he interviewed people was mm-hmm. comedy. He'd be like, "How do you feel about this?" and just let them go. Oh, that's kind of. And nice. he would interview the craziest people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it did take an HBO esque turn. What happened? Where they were like, eh, it got a little biased. Did they really? In a couple a couple instances. Yeah. Remember that? Nah, never mind. Probably not my best takes here. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm starting to think about it. Probably you know, not my. Gen- you're like, it might not be the best thing for me to Jan 6 sympathize, you're saying? Probably or? not my best opinions coming up, <laughs> especially on the eve of our glorious revolution. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's coming up. I forgot. Coming up. That's on Friday. I mean, this episode will come out tomorrow, so. Yeah. We're on the eve. This is January 6th eve. The, eve. the eve of one of the greatest coups of all time. Are they going to, are they actually going to, is he going to be in trouble? They keep saying he's going to be in trouble for this. They're doing a lock him up. Big time lock. I don't, I don't think so. But that's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. There's literally, there's a lot of footage. <laughs> there's a lot of footage. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, uh, I don't know. They're, they're going to get him for his taxes, I believe, eventually. Oh, the Russia, Russia yeah. Gate? The walls are closing in Dude, on Donald Trump. They are. You can tell now the walls are closing Did in. Did you see Stephen King Stephen King had a tweet re- so they're like the Republican like research tank or whatever was like Joe Biden spent forty percent of his presidency on vacation and Joe Biden or uh Stephen King like retweeted it with a quote and said, Yeah, he spent the other sixty percent kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. All right, maybe he's fucking with people. I, that's what I started wondering. That's I'm a like, very it's, funny tweet. It's very funny. That's so fucking delusional. It's funny. He's either fucking with people or, yeah, it's, it's a, like a genuine mental disorder. I mean, like, of just not even like whatever the perception of it is where you think it's a good press, but being like, yeah, he kicks ass. Meh. It's like, dude, you're a grown, like, end of your life development man. Yeah. And your best you can do is be like, the president kicks ass. Yeah, and you're a great, Sorry, haters. an incredible writer. One of the greatest writers. I don't think I can read his books and anymore. And you're going to come out with kick ass. I can't read his books anymore. I really don't. Just knowing what the dude's up to, it, might, it honestly, I can't It'll separate the art from the artist. Yeah. I can't do it. Which is funny because I can do it when they're... Yeah. <laughs> right wing. I mean, like, makes me like it more. Like, dude, no Gibson movies are incredible. <laughs> this guy's nuts. Because at least right wing... At least right wing those guys are nuts. Yeah. Left wing are like gay as fuck. Dude. Well, they're not. Yeah. And they're not being like ostracized by anyone. Really? No one's ostracized. It, only people attacking him are just dudes like, I'm a blue collar worker. He's kicking my ass. If I'm sure for that, he's kicking yeah. my ass. But it's like, yeah, it's pretty weird. Cause, yeah. Because at least when you see Mel, you know, he was out there saying wild stuff. Yeah. He got in trouble. Yep. No one likes him anymore. Yeah. But you can't stop watching this movies. If he puts out a movie, everyone's like. Fuck, it was actually pretty good. Well, there's a redemption tale, too. It's like, is this going to be the movie that sways? Although a lot of the movies have stunk. We're talking about... What was there's the, some what movies. Do, what do He's do been with... doing a lot of movies in there that were like... Really? Give me back my son. Like, over and over again. He went like Liam Neeson for a minute. Yeah, that'll happen. That's like, then he did Dragged Across. That's a box Conk. office. That's like a no. guaranteed box office. Like, dude, having your kid taken, making a movie about that, easy. That's all. That's, that's at least going to make some money. Like, dude, what would you do, bro? What would you do? What the fuck would you do? A bunch of fucking Romanians stole your son. Ask ask, uh, Andrew Tate's dad. He's living that right now. Oh, true. Andrew Tate's dad. Andrew Tate's dad needs to take him. He got taken, dude. Fuck, Andrew Tate got taken. Tate, dude, I was watching videos on Tate. He actually might get busted for trafficking. Really? Yeah. I think they're hitting him with the walls are closing in on yeah, I think well, I think the left wants him gone. They do. I would imagine they do as well. But dude, he has like early seminars he did online about how to. Everyone's getting crushed for like their content right now. He did a seminar on how to be a successful webcam entrepreneur, and like I think for sex trafficking, there's like if you use physical force, obviously that's sex. if I if I were to like be like Shane, you fucking Get suck here. this guy's dick, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> if I did that to you, I'm a sex trafficker. Man. 
No. If I fraud, <laughs> dude, let me get this monologue out first. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Time out. Time out. I do not want to. Do- <laughs> <laughs> so the second thing is fraud if i trick you into doing it if i fraud you that's technically sex trafficking which is kind of you know it's hazy and then there was like coercion where if i threat my you know th- blah, blah, blah. so fraud you is what happened to that one porn thing which one uh talking nexium no there was a porn one girls do porn, girls do porn. what was that it was fucking nice. It was sick as fuck. It was so good. And then I found out they were fucking trafficking the girls. I was beating off to. I had what no idea. What the hell? I had no idea. What was girls? It seemed like a legit one. Usually, like they like. Because they're all ugly, kinda. Who? Like, the girls, do porn. girls do porn were fucking so hot. Are you He's a youngster, target? dude. He doesn't have any idea. Are you out of your mind? For some respect. Yeah. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> those those trafficked women were. You said those guys weren't tricking the best women and yeah. stealing. They them? literally were. They trafficked like beauty queens. What? Sometimes. No, I mean actually, the one was a Miss fucking one, a state. And you're saying they're more like runners up. You're no? out of your fucking mind. Like not dude. some of them, of course. There's some diamonds in the rough. <laughs> I mean, guys, what, what are we talking about? Take, no, this is one of the worst takes <laughs> ever. No, These women got sex, sex trafficking. You're going to call them ugly? <laughs> call them beat. So You're going to victim blame? They're the easiest victims. Who? Oh. The ugly ones. Jeez, Noah. Noah. Mike away. Noah. Give the mic out. Get the time out. <laughs> we said we were going to talk about this. <laughs> They're all beautiful. No, we're trying to do a monologue. Anyway, dude. they got sex trafficking. They Because I think they frauded the girls. Yeah, that's a. I think they said they were going to pay you a certain amount, or they were like, "We're actually not going to put this out to," and they they tossed it so out. So that's trafficking. So and then the guy got in trouble for that. Dude, they have videos of Tate in his own words, and I'm watching. Obviously, I'm watching. Uh, Which is bullshit. They should. I should get a. I should get some type of. You know. I should get paid. For sure, there should be commercials like. Camp June commercials like, did you whack off to fucking girls do porn? <laughs> are, you, are you now a sex criminal? You did not know you were being a sex criminal. <laughs> you owe compensation. <laughs> That's such bullshit, dude. I love that shit. <laughs> you basically have mesothemia, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I got theliomies. <laughs> well, I, I would say there's probably a decent amount of like women in porn who are trafficked anyway. Like those oh. those Russian ones. You, they're still on. Careful. You're out of your mind that these girls are homely, dude. Can you cover their naked bodies and show me just their faces? <laughs> they're so hot. <laughs> I mean, dude, he doesn't know he's a youngster. It's, come on. it's this. Come stuff. on, dude. Over and over again. Age check. Can I get Look. an age check on her? Yeah, I mean, he's crazy. Nice. By the way, they were not naked bodies. I was looking at not their naked fully bodies. Clothes. This they're is literally clothes. just the beautiful girls. What a heinous fucking! Wait, who was the guy, and how was he pulling this off? What were his means know. of coercion I, or manipulation? I honestly, I have not done a lot of research. It happened a while ago. It happened like a year and a half or two years ago. Billy and Spud were the ones who broke it down. Girls do like, porn. Girls do porn. That guy was a sex trafficker, and I was like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get hit with the Rico. You might have to go to. They might dick. find out. Be like, who <laughs> searched this the most? <laughs> this might be your bars. They get you. <laughs> <laughs> they check your webcam. Oh, I'm so afraid of that. Damn, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fucking take the plea deal, like uh, like I'll snitch. young thug. I'll snatch right away. I'm gonna be gonna. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, slug showed me this. <laughs> <laughs> Dick and slug, <laughs> billion spot. Dick and slug. <laughs> Dick and slugs. They but, showed me this. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you're slouching in court. Yes. yes. With Dude. a mask. <laughs> you gotta wear a fucking Dude, COVID mask. All of YSL has their uh, nose out of the mask. I mean, kind of sick on some level. True. They're all fucking. We got rocking the same Patriot Beak in court. So funny, <laughs> the Beak. Dude, you're going to jail for life. You're risking jail for life. Like, I, better <laughs> <laughs> I better not get a cold. I better not get cold. The well, last thing I to, want is to be under the weather when I, think I they arrive. They have to wear them in court because the judges yeah, yeah, wear yeah. them too. But it's so funny that all of them fucking sag their mask. It's like the best move ever. Yeah. Be like serious Rico charges facing 20 years, and you're just like, like dude, I'm going to bring my nose out of this I'm fucking cage. I'm going to breathe in this. <laughs> like, like, it's uncomfortable. But yeah, dude, the uh, he's on camera. And this was, I was watching, I've been watching a lot of criminal defense lawyers like break stuff down. And he, this one guy, I think his name's Bruce Rivers. 
he came under fire because people were like, fuck you, dude. You, you hate Tate. You're dude, a did hater. Did Guard Dog just leave to take a shit? I think so. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? He's shitting God on air? Guard Dog had to shit. <laughs> oh he definitely woke up late. He smoked he's so many fucking cigarettes, dude. He's lying about his car. Oh, That's dude. his morning shit right now. I think so. He smokes way too much. We have, his, we have to talk about his cigarette intake, dude. Oh, my God. He's terrible. a fucking cigarette smoker's ass. He probably puffed like five cigarettes on the way here and jarred one loose. <laughs> He'll get his when he sits back down. Dude, the, <laughs> the um, oh yeah, so they were he he did like a seminar basically on how to start a webcam business, and it was he's on there being like, you have to control these women's minds, you can't tell them the truth, like blah blah. blah. His, his story was that he, um, he had five girlfriends at the time, and he decided he was like, he's like, well, fuck, I don't. He's like reading a book about how to make money. He goes, I need assets. And he's like, well, if I have five girlfriends, I can have turn them into assets for me. So he, he, according to him, his own words, the what? It's pimping. Pimping. He even did say on the thing, like, you could apply what I'm about to tell you to street pimping if you wanted to. Yeah. But he's like, it's all about, but whatever. So then, you know, and again, he's obviously trying to be like sensational and stuff. But his story was that, according to himself, he called all five of his girlfriends and said, I'm flying you all in here, sat them down in front of him and said, I'm on some G shit right now. You guys are going to start making me some money with this webcam shit. And they all, they all found out that they were like, he was they're part of like a six piece relationship. Three of them left, two stayed. Nice. That not bad actually. Yeah, it's, then, bad. <laughs> it's crazy. But there's like it there's like so that alone is they were brought there on false pretenses. So but it's real hazy. So this mm. guy's just breaking it down like they're all the parts where deception could possibly come into play. And especially when like when you're using your own words, like it doesn't look good for you. Can't trick women. You should yeah, you can't well you can, you shouldn't. That's the thing. You, you, you can. Not. You should not. It's very mean to do. Guard dog, how was it? Did did it's you wipe? diarrhea? Yeah, I wiped. You have diarrhea? Well, I had one in the car, and then it, I was really nervous about. Did it. you shit your new car? I almost that, did. You almost shit in your new pre-owned <laughs> Honda Accord. My certified brand, pre-owned Honda. It was not certified. Honda obviously, it was no, not, not certified. certified. What? I know but, a certified Honda when I hear when I hear a story about what happened to you. I I knew it was not certified. Dude. It was not certified. I got a good deal though. The one hundred fifty point check. They would never. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't afford certified brother you're right that's for the big dogs that's for the high rollers <laughs> especially in this market right now used cars are going crazy right now in this market they're going mm-hmm. crazy they are you got a nice so you deal, had to take a diarrhea during the podcast i did I you showed up late and post. you had a diarrhea <laughs> yeah what'd you do i had to abandon my post and give it to noah while i went and crapped in your you can't hand this man a mic dude he's a fucking he's nuts true you did yeah i thought you said i had to abandon my bussy <laughs> I was like, that's a pretty funny way to t- say take a shit. Do you think the cigarettes have something to do out. with it? Do you think the tobacco has something to do with yeah, it? Yeah, and the coffee, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's... I had a bigger. That's there's the bigger. What's yeah. up with all these cigs, dude? You're too young for all these cigs. I like the cigs. Dude, you're going to fucking get lung cancer, man. They figured this shit out a long time ago. So be it. Are you see over some cigs, bro? Shit. <laughs> That'll be you, bro. That'll be you. That'll be me. <sighs> <laughs> True. I mean, yeah. It's fucked up to bring up. <laughs> dude, we have a sponsor. We can give you free fucking yeah. Lucy's, dude. You could be sucking down nicotine pouches, brother. Nicotine Ricolos. You're right. Maybe 2024, I'll try to quit. <laughs> Shit. It's not too late in 23, dude. Dude, you're you fucking up our brand image, dude. We're selling fucking tobacco replacements. You're sucking down cigs, dude. It makes us look like liars and charlatans, dude, if you're not going to take the Lucy. (laughs) Yes. You're right. I'll switch to Lucy. No, I'm just fucking with you, Lucy. Anyway, like we were saying, (laughs) (laughs) Sean, if you have to shit, you have to at least tell us next time. You have to please next time interrupt. (laughs) I realized you were gone for longer than a whiz. (laughs) I was actually pretty excited. I cut it it short still, too. I have a... What? You cut a diarrhea short? Continue. Just go back and finish, no, I can't. finish the job. I feel good. It's been coming and going. And what, dude? <laughs> like, I feel like I really have to shit. And then my bussy starts quivering. And then <laughs> you still got quiver- you got like a quivering bussy no, right now? No, now my bussy's calm. <laughs> Wait, is your bussy you quivering? shaking orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> You're shaking. <laughs> Seriously, what's your spot. bussy? You have no feelings in your bussy right now. No, yeah, my bussy's fine right now. But if I had to guess... It's gonna start quivering soon, and I might have to leave before the end of the podcast. If you, but I'm saying, if you sat down and push, out of my butt, if you, if you, if you, if you sat down right now, you don't think you could push some diarrhea out? 
No, because I was trying and it, it went away. But I, I oh, you might have been having the aftershocks. I know sometimes you have, there. yeah. Sometimes yeah. you have the aftershocks of a good blowout. You get up and you go, "Am I got a dump or am I just like vibrating?" Is my, <laughs> you know, what I'm talking about kind of. But anyway, yeah, Tate is. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry for all this sorry talk. Sorry to leave, guys. You're right, but yeah, dude. Um, this guy brought up multiple accounts of him basically being like, "I lied to them about how much they make." Yeah. I didn't pay my taxes. I would put it all in a Bitcoin. Oh, uh, time out for a second. Do you know how many diarrheas I've absolutely <laughs> swallowed every episode, dude? You don't think I, I have to? You don't think I want to get up in diarrhea? <laughs> all I do is have diarrhea. Oh, dude. You don't think I want to get up in diarrhea? I'm behind the cam though. I tried Jesus to do it discreetly. That's crazy, dude. You saw I slunk away. I tried to be sneaky. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. I just had to, I had to get that off my chest because I wasn't going to be able to continue yeah, without that. Thank you for, no, for If sure. you ever have diarrhea, we can pause. Just so you know, he's a no, pro, a dude. Pro, he holds it in, dude. I've reclaws before, he ch- dude. If you hold your diary <laughs> long enough, right? Yeah, dude. It, it just all turns into it's alchemy. It turns into good jokes. <laughs> you let your diarrhea just linger about your body. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, you're not hey, going buddy. on. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah, yeah we're in the middle. Grab a seat. What's oh, up? What's up, man? Hi, buddy. I just took a shit, and they're making fun of me. I, I can't talk. Dude, ten minutes. It's fine. We have a mic for you. Yeah, we have a mic for sure. Yeah, our, Sean just left to take a gigantic shit right in yeah. the middle of the thing. What's up? Yeah, grab a seat. What's up, man? Oh, there's a camera and everything. Yeah, you guys yeah. Are fucking, you got one camera. Yeah, yeah, man. That's when you know you're good. When you, when you, <laughs> yeah, this is the production. This for one. We only need one. <laughs> yeah. One angle. We don't need to edit this Some shit. Wide shot. I mean, you yeah. came in. You you just entered probably one of the best episodes we've ever done. Yeah. Now it's gonna fucking. You're be- whack off the girls do porn. I'm sorry. Say that again. All right, never mind. No, if you don't know I, I the just, name of it, no, if the name that, doesn't ring a bill right true, away, dude. Clean bill I, no, health. Listen, just say it again. That's all I need. There's a there was a porn thing called Girls Do Porn. It was the I don't even know what the they're called. Okay, no companies. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's criminal organizations in this case. Anyway, there anyway, was sex it, traffic. Turns out there was sex trafficking. I've been whacking off to this thing for years. He didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea. It turns out know. there was sex trafficking. Yeah, I I did bang bus. That's nice. Yeah. Which I think was illegal. Yeah, didn't they used to like punch him in the face and throw him out of a car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this on? This yeah. Is- <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, I didn't dude. know you were so detail oriented. <laughs> you give the whole version. Dude, I mean, let him I do sh- a little work, you son of a bitch. What the fuck? I showed up. I didn't know Bobby was outside. He caught, he caught me walking to get coffee. Dude, he rolled his window down and just threw his coffee at my feet. I had no idea who it was, dude. I turned around. I was like. <laughs> then, while I was giving the look, I was like, all right, that's Bobby. I got to pretend I don't know. Here's the problem with him, though. I called him yesterday. Yesterday, I call him. Hey, I haven't talked to him in a while. And I'm, a, I'm what they call in show business uh, a good person. <laughs> Yeah, good like, people I'm usually just a, say that. I'm yeah. a regular good guy. You've risen above the scum. Well, I'm just a. I never. I never went above it or below it. I just became a good person. I heard that. I called him. Hey, dude, how you doing? I haven't talked to you in a while. I just want to see how you doing. It's holidays, mm. whatever. Because he didn't call me. You know what I mean? I, and in the high hierarchy, I know he's more popular and probably makes, makes a lot. Dude. But as as a respect, yeah. Mike, when Michael knew his father wasn't the head of the thing anymore and he was taking over, he still had respect. For for the older guy, for they sure. sat in the garden. Yeah. And he was like, "Pa, you know," the, but not him. <laughs> so I call him, and no, if I call if, if I if Colin Quinn called me, I'd stop what I'm doing. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's yeah. going? I call him. He's still me, he's meandering. You can hear him doing shit, which bugs me. No, I was in the airport. Yeah, yeah. Stop. I what, can't. Do you, work I hate, for, do you work at the airport? I don't like talking in public. <laughs> what the fuck Fair is point. this? I hate it. So outside of your good environment, you yes. can't talk. If I, I'm, I hate being on headphones right. talking in public. Okay, do me a favor then. <laughs> Get rid of your phone. This happened before. You called me when I was in the... Oh, this is good, dude. He called me. I was like, I'm in the back of an Uber. I can't really talk right now. And he was like, what are you fucking kidding me? Just talk. Who cares? And I was like, no, I can't. Then the Uber driver pulls over and talks on the phone for 20 minutes. Yeah, oh, fuck you. That's what you He deserve. just talked on the phone. I was just so sitting has- in the back like, is this guy serious? He had a full <laughs> conversation. But you can feel his uncomfortableness, which bugs me. So then he's like, yeah, I, I, I'm blah. he gives me his anxiety horse shit about public. I can't do this in public. Uh-huh. Uh, whatever that is, right? You can't talk in public. What the fuck's wrong with I you? I can't be funny. Whatever. I don't want you to be funny. I was, I was talking. Then he goes, I go, call me later. He goes, oh, I'm going to call you tonight. Now, as a man, (laughs) 
as a man, <laughs> when a friend of mine says, I'll call you later tonight, I... You stayed up. It's not that I stayed up, but in the back of my head, I looked at my phone every maybe hour or two. Nothing. Nothing. So now I'm coming over here today to do Tommy and the other guy. What's his face? Chris. Chris. Very funny. Both of them. One of them murders people, though. One, I'm not going to tell you which one, but one of them fucking kills Yeah, it's actually tough. It's a toss up. Definitely O'Connor. And I see this fucking, I look in my rear view mirror and you can't, I mean, you can see this fucking walking down the street. I know it's him. He's eight feet tall. Yeah. yeah. He's got sunglasses on. He's dressed like a college girl, right? (laughs) What the hell, dude? I see him walking down and he, the last person he expected was the guy he lied to yesterday (laughs) to be right on his fucking street when he's going to get his little morning routine on. And I had my cappuccino. It was a nice one too. And I threw it right at his stupid shoe. That he doesn't Jeez. care about because he doesn't care about fashion because that's me. I'm cool. Do you uh, like fashion? No, I don't like fashion, but <laughs> fucking whatever. This is, I didn't buy this. Cypher Sound gave me this. Uh, I got this from a hip hop star. Oh, hey, I'm not making fun of it. So, <laughs> you got defensive. I just looked at it. <laughs> fucking, not everybody dresses like a, a girl soccer coach. I apologize. So. <laughs> So then I threw my cappuccino right Fuck, at his I'm feet. Fuck, I'm like a girl soccer coach. No, you're right not. Now. No, you're not. Hey, look at the hookahs. Nah. Dude. That's fucking... Nah. That's an insane he's, issue. He's, 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 he's dressed like a cruise ship comic. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I threw my cup at his feet. I'm expecting a bull to come at me. I'm expecting... And all I got was a little fucking angry brow. Like, you want to feel the force. I want uh, Dude, him. I just woke up. I thought I'm walking like, to get my coffee. If someone threw coffee at me, I'm just ignoring it. I'm he's just also, just he's also a very... Shane's very... Resistant. Reserved and tranquil too. Yeah, that's scary. I guess that's scary. But he threw the coffee and then I and then I grabbed him and I was gonna bite his nose. He off. actually was grabbing me pretty what intensely. I, yeah, you know, I was gonna bite his nose off. Well, you say you're gonna call somebody, you fucking. Call and then we somebody. had a nice. Walk, I was actually on the phone with him nice during time. this whole thing. I heard it. Oh, you did? Yeah, we were on the phone the whole time. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. I oh, call it. Oh, yeah, oh, you I talk him it. in public, you cocksucker. Nonstop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were facetiming the whole time. <laughs> so it's me. All right, all right, I'll deal with that. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on. It's yeah, awesome. You got it, man. How's it going? You didn't like your cold brew? You haven't even finished it yet. You haven't even touched it. I, I, I was on the... These guys talk fast downstairs. They do. We smoked a cigar downstairs, too. In, in the room? In the room. What? Cowards. Why are they cowards? If it comes up here, I'm going to fucking get them out. True call landlord. I was hoping yeah. it would fucking I'll seep up here. We smoked three bats in that little room. It's mm. great. Great guys. You smoke cigars? Not really. That's nice. Did, no? did they pretend to like cigars? <laughs> Because I know for a fact they have never smoked a fucking cigar in their lives. I'll tell you this. <laughs> they yelled at him for like a vape pen one time. They I, both enjoyed the shit out of it. One more than the other. Can you guess which one? The camera was on, right? Camera's on. Yeah, they Ge- loved it. Guess which one they liked. Guess which one liked it. Tommy more loved it. Chris nope. was honest. Chris no. loved it. More than me. He was still smoking when I left. Chris is in love with it. He's That's gonna, good. He's got a That's what we needed was him to get a new fucking vice. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. Eh, what are you here leaving soon anyways? Who cares? I don't think I am. You staying here? I like this. Where do you live? Philadelphia. Oh, you just come in to do these? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's great. Am I not supposed to tell the crowd that? No, you're right. no. You're supposed to think pretty open about where I live. Room. You know, yeah. like you go on the radio and like, dude, he's in Florida. Don't tell him he's yeah, not in yeah, Cincinnati. Yeah. Dude, I did a fucking morning radio yeah. in Buffalo, I think it was. It was like 6 a.m. I had to be there. The fucking radio host zoomed in. I had to go to the studio. Oh, I was yeah. in the studio by myself, Ugh. and the guy zoomed in. Yeah, and they told you not to tell him that yeah, he's not. I there. was like, "This is I'm never doing radio ever again." Oh. I like radio. You don't drink. <laughs> I drink. It's a fucking valid. Point. Six a.m. is fucking hell. That is a. And valid then you show point. up, your face is dark red, <laughs> swollen. They're like, "Let's get a picture." You're like. <laughs> <laughs> they posted fucking no one likes it I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> got two likes as the host like kiss fm in buffalo yeah. oh. you drink too <laughs> not really no a little bit I i'm very moderate I, I used to drink like a motherfucker yeah yeah i used to drink i used to i remember we used to one sip like a bottle i missed everybody that was fun wait what do you mean one sip a bottle oh you used to get a uh, bottle of like jack daniels and just one sip it like chug it basically i always take the cap off and throw it away go caps it for kids even though I was 13. Damn, oh, I was you're kid. talking about when you were a youngster. <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah, back yeah, in Boston. Yeah, you ever hear Bobby's yeah, origin you, story? You, you, were, you, were a troubled, you were a troubled youth, were you not? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess. Definitely. Weren't you in fucking like juvenile? Yeah, I mean, you don't yes, have to say it like that. I mean. I, mean, I don't know if there's more of a troubled youth. <laughs> was it like more like, what, what'd you do? 
uh, unarmed robbery sex assault. Stuff? Oh, was, really? Yeah, I fucked other kids. What do you mean, sex stuff? <laughs> I was sex 13. Stuff. I was telling a story. I didn't know my pattern stuff? was. You think I'm, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm raping middle aged women. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thing. Dave, yeah. you do armed robbery? Yeah, I ra- yeah, you <laughs> You're do bad as hell. I used to hang out at Stop and Shop and fuck. <laughs> They went back with their car to get them before they got in their minivan. <laughs> Wait, who'd you rob? Um, I actually, the last place I robbed was a, a Were you like a newsie? Were you wearing like Jeff caps? <laughs> you're like, hey, give me all your it's money. A, it's <laughs> a Peaky Blinder. <laughs> yeah, you're a Peaky Blinder in Boston, dude. <laughs> I used the word C, C. Yeah, 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 give me your money, C. Uh-huh. No, I robbed a mafia owned pizza place. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that was probably bad. a bad I, choice. I didn't know it was mafia owned. True. When the cop arrested me, he actually pulled up. I was at the park uh, about to get one. I was about to get fucked up with all yeah. my friends. I think it was like a Saturday night. It was like a week and a half later. Uh, three, Four days before, me and Frankie, we were sitting in his living room just like this, and we just smoked a ton of weed. Mm. And we were both watching Popeye cartoons, <laughs> basted, just like this. <laughs> watching and- Popeye? <laughs> Mass, eh? <laughs> this is quite the, the funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> You got fucking Civil War ghosts hanging out there. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that Ulysses S. Grant? Yeah. Just fucking, yeah. Um, he had the door open because it was hot. That was before anybody had AC and shit. And this three cops walked in Ooh. and they were like, Frankie Paula Castro. And he went, what's up? <laughs> they just took him out. Oh. Was so I, And they didn't take me. And I was with them. And then like three or four days later, I was at the park and they pulled up. He goes, Bobby Kelly. I was like, yeah. He's like, there's a warrant out for your arrest. I don't know where it went. We got your friend Frankie. I'm coming back to get you tonight. Oh. So if you don't want to get arrested, get the fuck off the street. And I'll be doing you a favor because the pizza place you robbed was a mob owned pizza place and they're looking for you too. And they're going to break your legs. So that night, I was like, fuck. I went and got How fucked old were you? up. How uh, 13. Jeez. And I, I, um, <laughs> I went and got fucked up. I, th- I had a, uh, a pint of uh, Allen's 101 peppermint schnapps. Mm hmm. And I had uh, I had a rack of talls, a Budweiser, and I smoked a lot of weed. I was with this girl, and she was like, "I want to get high," so I was like, "I don't have any more on me." So she's like, "You go. were 13? 13. And she goes, "Go get weed." And I want to fuck, and I was like, "Yeah." So I went to get weed, and on the way, I went to get more alcohol. But back then, I was thirteen. I had to wait. I had yeah. to get a buyer. So you had to stand in front of the yeah. fucking place, wait for some pedophile to come up, yeah. you know? <laughs> Maybe give him a hand job to get some fucking yeah. some, some booze. Some more peppermint schnapps. Yeah, I give one to get one. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I'm standing there in front of the liquor store. I got a buyer. He's inside getting the shit. And my uh, cop car pulls up with my mom in the back seat. Oh. They went to my house. Oh, fuck. The cop was a friend of my mom from high school. We're looking for Bobby. She goes, I'm coming. Oh, so yeah. she gets in the back. They pull up. She goes, "Come here!" From like it was like slow motion. Oh, it's the worst. And I just went. It's your mom. You know what I mean? For some reason, you just listen. I should have ran, but my mom was like, "Come here." I was like, "Okay." Yeah. I went in the car and I shut the door and I forgot they lock. Oh. So, I'm just, so I'm just in the back. Oh no! <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> And my oh. friend's knocking on the window. Can I talk to him for one second? Like trying to negotiate yeah, with the yeah, cops. Yeah. Like, all right, let him one second. <laughs> nice. Nice so try. They took yeah, okay, me, these they, 13-year-olds seem reasonable. They took, <laughs> hop out. <laughs> they, they took me to jail, and I was so fucked up, man. I mean, I'm in this little jail cell, and it was the, one of the worst nights of my life because the whole thing's spinning. Oh, I'm, I'm puking, sucks. and I could just hear them laughing. And every once in a while, they bring by an old hamburger. And throw it into my, oh my you hungry? And I would go, Ugh. and then I went to uh, court the next day. They take you to court. And then I went to jail that night. How long were you in juvie for? Um, that time, it was, I think, four months. So juvie goes like this. You go to court. They they do it. And they, and they, they're like, all right, we're going to set a trial date for you. Uh-huh. Then you go back into the cell under the, the place. And then they pick you up in a van. The van that they pick prisoners up, mm. you all get picked up at the same. But the prisoners go in the back. The juvies go on this little bench in the front right behind the driver. But there's a window right there. So the whole time, the real fucking murderers are just talking about fucking you in the ass. The whole time, like you little bitch. Let me see those lips. Oh, oh you sweet bitch! And you're just you're just crying, like trying not to, you know, trying to hold a tear in. And then they take you up to uh, the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's called intake, where they decide where you're going because there's a bunch of juvenile halls mm-hmm. all over Massachusetts. 
They take you. It's, it's literally Danvers State, which is a mental institution. And they take you. And Danvers State gave the juvenile system this, the old morgue to do intake. <laughs> so they drive you up to this creepy place, to the old morgue. You go into this room and they they unshackle you, put you in the room. You know, all kids from everywhere, black kids, Puerto Rican mm-hmm. kids. Uh, and they're all just sitting there watching that big, huge TV, black and white TV. And then uh, I remember they come in with uh, a, with lunch and it was day old subs from the deli down the street with chips and, and a chocolate milk. But everybody grabs their okay. subs. They go up like fucking animals. Yeah. Like everybody just gets up when they drop them. They drop the box. And everybody just runs and grabs. And they all grabbed their sandwich and there was onions on the top and they grab them and they just threw them on the ceiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> the purple onions after a day get wet and they Ugh. smell. So they didn't want them. They threw it. And I look up on the ceiling. It was just all fucking old onions <laughs> from hundreds of fucking sandwiches. Jesus Christ. Dude. And then the Puerto Rican kid comes up. He's like, yo, man, I want to tell you. It's your first time? I was like, yeah. He goes, when they sh- ask them where you're going before they put the shekels on you. I'm like, why? He goes, because if they don't tell you, you're going somewhere bad. I was like, all right. So they took me in and uh, they they were about to shackle me. And uh, I go, where am I going? And he just looked at me and went, and he didn't say anything. I was like, fuck. Oh, so no. then I, I went to the Charlestown Y. And Charlestown back then was bad. Yeah. That's and where all did, the movies, Southie. Yeah. Oh, a, yeah it was yeah, the yeah. Bank, movie. You bank, were in the town, dude. Bank, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, town, that, yeah. I mean, every the, the most bank robberies ever in the country was in Charlestown at that time. And they it was the Charlestown Y was the gym and then on the top level was the juvenile lockup. And it was just like a room with metal bunk beds, like 15 metal bunk beds. Ugh. And then another room that you just sat in with a TV. Um yeah, I remember that was most scary. and I had a I remember we had to go in and they had a strip searcher again. And I was with two 18 year olds. I was 13. I think oh, I had no. one pube. <sighs> I had a little tiny pecker. Yeah. And I remember they were like, all right, get naked. And I was like, huh? And I and they were like, they made us take a, they had a shower. And these two guys had just fucking had guy dongs. dicks. Yeah. Yeah, they had like nice dicks. And just me, little pecker Kelly. I still wouldn't want to go in there either. Huh? Today. I wouldn't want to go in there today, man. Some 18-year-olds <laughs> just ready, fucking humiliating my penis. <laughs> You'd be scared now, even with, uh, juve, even with 13-year-olds? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about 18-year-olds. I'm 36. I'd be, I'm talking about getting naked more so. I was the worst. I remember Very they had burst. to do jumping jacks. Naked? I, I, I actually said to the guy, I go, dude. <laughs> dude what you're do you, boys do. I go, what do, you think I'm, what do you think I got? I don't have any. You think I'm really stuffing heroin in my yeah. ass? To to make money in in June, I'm gonna be out in three months. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna be here for. I mean, I'm gonna, it's not a life sentence. Oh, so you, you do ass like, naked jumping jacks. To see if you things- do. You have to do ass naked jumping jacks, and you have to squat naked. Fucking humiliating. Yeah, it sucks. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. Terrible. And that was the first time. That was the first time. Yeah, that was the first time. You didn't learn your lesson. No, it's the thing about drugs and alcohol. <laughs> 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 is that funny thing the funny thing about, about doing drugs and alcohol you, you know it's a hard time to learn your lesson yeah, no, yeah, I didn't. no I didn't it didn't. took me three more years the last time I got arrested was for a gumball machine but what'd you do I stole a gumball machine you took the whole thing took two of them nice <laughs> yeah, yeah. do you want the coins or the gum both <laughs> yeah, like, guys we're never gonna need to buy bubble gum again <laughs> son of a bitch they got me <laughs> well, i mean how fucked up did you have to be to do that i was on a half ba- uh, bottle of white label scotch um i did uh again i did a bunch of beers and a lot of weed and then we, we were doing whippets mm. we were doing whippets and then the, the dummy was like i want this fucking gumbo machine so I grabbed it. That was upstate New York, uh, Spencerport, New York, which is a different thing. So uh, I just grabbed the gumbo machine. I ripped it off and I smashed it. And I took the fucking quarters and I nice. the gum. And Jeez. then the cops chased us down the tracks. <laughs> and then uh, I, I thought I was slick and I ran through the woods over a yard and then a shotgun was in my face. Fuck. And the cop you. was like, uh, he goes... Uh, Made me get into the middle of the person's lawn. He goes, you're, you're the bubblegum thief. I'm, no, I'm, I you're was the Bobby Bubblegum. Bubble bubble <laughs> we finally I was caught known, the bubblegum thief. I was known worldwide for, for bubblegum. Damn. Yeah. He actually put the gun in my face and he told the other cop, if he moves, shoot him. And I said, it was gum. Yeah. 
I was like, what are you fucking, like, you fucking lunatic? Chris Rock. You're like, it was a G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was the worst jail I was in. The Rochester Juvie Jail was the worst. Good thing you weren't around with like Oxycontin and stuff. You'd have been dead. I did. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we. I did everything. I would yeah. take any pill you put in front well, of me. What I'd, pills do you have back here? Well, we was, were doing Valium, Mesk, Acid, uh, and uh, what are they, what's the um, Percocets? Okay, so Perks yeah. were big. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, anything you Because I was so young, anything you could steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't, you know what I mean? You could just steal it. We stole most of our drugs. And Coke. We did a lot of Coke. Nice. Yeah. My friend's uh, stepfather was a Coke dealer, but he wasn't tough. Like, my yeah, friend could yeah. beat him up. <laughs> so we would threaten him. You'd threaten him to give us the cocaine. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. I feel bad about it. A bunch of 15 year olds <laughs> come in your room, like, give us the coke. Yeah, dude. He Show was a, us your dick. Like, fine, just yeah, fucking have it. Yeah, he had a mustache. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and he, we would go threaten him and he'd be fucking give us his coke. I felt terrible about it. But Were yeah. you, what years was it? Whitey Bulger time in Boston? Yeah. 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 Do you was, have any stories with him? It was eight. No, thank God. You never got to be around that. Well, I never went to Southie, man. Southie scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I was from Medford. Uh, Medford, Mm. but in Medford, Boston was segregated back then. Every little town, Somerville, Medford. So even in Medford, the Italians lived in South Medford. The Irish lived in North Medford. The blacks and the the mixed whites lived in West Medford. Mixed whites. Yeah, like, you know, like (laughs) the whites that could, you know, live with the blacks. (laughs) <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like the Italians weren't doing, yeah. you know what I mean? And I hung out of the I hung out of the Italian uh, yeah. part with the but we hung out at, back then you didn't have gangs, you had parks. Mm. So we hung I hung out at Tufts Park. So, you know, you had North uh what was it um uh Duggar Park was where all the black dudes hung out, Place Dead Park, then you had Tufts Park with the Italians, uh I think it was North Park was where all the Irish kids hung out. And um yeah, it was kind of like you, 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 and then you fought each other. Yeah, you just go to the different places. Yeah, yeah. but the guys I hung out with, I hung out with these guys. I mean, they were they were tough. Mm-hmm. I was never tough. Yeah, but though the guys I hung out with were fucking. Re- I mean, dude, they'd shake you down. Like as you'd a, show up as a friend. As a friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck like, what yeah. do you have? Well, they like throw you, coffee at your feet. Give yourself. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would they try to humiliate you <laughs> on your own block, dude. No, but they this would, is my block, dude. <laughs> They would call you back, and yeah. they it was hard because they had pay phones back then, so they had to find change. It wasn't as convenient as it is now, where you just go, hey, call Bob, and it says, yeah, call Bob. 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 Yeah, what's up, buddy? I was hungover. Yep. I flew all day. Okay. It was eight. Th- he was with me. Gardena, you saw me. There's no way I was operating. I wasn't I wasn't being a good conversationalist at that That's point. That's all right. I forgive you. It would have been a bad call. I forgive you. Do you forgive me? Because that's psychotic if you don't. I forgive you. I mean, real. it's psychotic that you're not taking on- my fucking Bob, forgiveness. I'll be honest. Yeah. Girl stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you, my fucking girlfriend? <laughs> you gonna girlfriend me on this? I mean, there, look at there's that a fucking little, piece of shit. Uh, they call me back. Uh, I mean, there's a difference. There's a there's a, a fine hair between girl stuff and and throwing man a drink, shit. Throwing a drinky, huh? Girlfriend. <laughs> I threw my fucking drink at that piece of shit. <laughs> You're right. You know what? In hindsight, this is starting to be girl stuff. I mean, if you, I mean, you can look through it out of different glasses. It's. Uh, I was kind of bitchy. Yeah, I like it. No, it was funny. Yeah, I do miss you. Yeah, it seems it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Stop with the girlfriend stuff. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't we have care. nice calls. You're a good guy to call. He oh. goes out in his shed and smokes cigars. Perfect. He talks. He's nice. always I'm a ta- down for a phone thing. call. I'm a talker. I mm-hmm. hate text messages. I hate it. But it, it, comics, you guys know that comics, we won't talk to each other for seven months. Yeah. But it mm-hmm. doesn't affect. It has no it has no effect on the like when you're friends with regular people. If I go away for three months, like what the fuck, you don't call me. It's yeah. like I I was away. But comics, like I didn't talk to Patrice for like eight months one year, and then all of a sudden he just came. He's like you know we're hanging out again. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way it is, you know. But um, yeah, I don't I don't give a fuck. But I like calling. I hate text messages. I hate you know when you come in. You you're a texter, right? I no I a little bit of both. I'm not good at texting anymore either. I like don't respond to texts. Yeah. I read them. I do this thing where I read someone's text 
and I think about what I'm going to say to them. And then, and then something I put my happens. fucking phone away. And then it, the pressure builds up yeah. to go back. And then I get another text that's uh, three weeks later. And I see the last couple with the typed message that I didn't send. Yeah. yeah. And then it's too much. And then, yeah. And it's like, fuck it. Now I'm just going to wait till he throws coffee at my feet. Yeah. Now we're done. <laughs> right, now we're done. <laughs> yeah, now I just, I'll just I missed apologize. that text. Now we're never going to be friends. Yeah, what do you I, have to do with three? I got to do, uh, I got to do, I'm doing my podcast in the city. Oh, okay. Nice. With uh, Santino. You know Santino? I do know Santino. He's the fuck. He's yeah, funny, man. He's, he's great. Great guy. Great guy. O'Connor opens for him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Lucy Breakers. Listen up, Sean. Lucy Breakers are the only nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. It's called discipline. That's what's in the middle. <laughs> Lucy Breakers, tiny capsules break open and unleash a burst of flavors like mint, mango, berry, and more. Oh, I love mango. Ooh. Lucy has a stronger and longer lasting flavor. Not like those gas station brands. Personal endorsement required. Shane loves the mango flavor. Oh, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> Save yourself a trip to the gas station. Subscribe along. Also, especially if you're in the Midwest, a lot of people sell drugs out of gas stations. Yeah. YSL associates were Ooh. selling drugs. Tick and slug. Tick and slug. Right? Fucking <laughs> selling toe jam and Earl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Subscribe online. So you're always got a box ready to go. Get $10 off your first order on Lucy.co when you use our promo code drenched at checkout. Shipping is always free. That's Lucy.co promo code drenched to receive $10 off and always free shipping. And here's the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the new year is here and a good pair of wireless earbuds are a must for 2023. <laughs> For premium audio at the perfect price point, you've got to go with Raycon. Personal endorsement. What are you listening to now? I wear them at the gym and they sound great. <laughs> I'm listening to... I listen to ISIS recruitment material on my radio. I only listen to Muslim <laughs> prayer. <laughs> uh, no, not that. I listen to the ISIS song. Yeah, true. Every time I lift, dude, listen to the ISIS song. But you're right. Switching from the silence of... They're not going to like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Switching from this, <laughs> switching from the silence of noise isolation mode to awareness mode to hear your surroundings is a breeze with Raycon's earbud tap functions. <laughs> you go like this when your girlfriend's talking to you. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> Silent mode. No more awareness. <laughs> I didn't know she was standing there because of my fucking Raycons that I have in. <laughs> Raycons give you eight hours of playtime. Eight hours of playtime. Honey, doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> and a 32-hour battery life. Honey, doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> Best of all, Raycon gives you the same audio quality as other premium audio brands at half the price. Go to buyraycon.com slash drenched15 and you get 15% off site-wide. That's buyraycon.com slash drenched for 15% off your Raycon purchase. Buyraycon.com slash drenched15. Let's get back to the show. You should go, though. What time? Well, I mean, what the fuck, man? I mean, could you be more anticlimactic? I mean, <laughs> look, can we go on a fucking laugh? Um, well, we'll get one. I'm All just right, saying. Thanks. I mean, geez, I wanted you, to help you get to your show you on time. Can edit this part out where you fucking... No, I no, mean, no. We're going to keep it. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> keep. <laughs> keep. <laughs> keep. That's a Keep. What do you think about all the scandals? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Someone's gonna, you're going to get a documentary made about you. And then he said, snapped his fingers and said, keep. And I was like, oh. And then he didn't call me. Dude. <laughs> We're not talking about the documentary. Yo! <laughs> it's coming for everybody. Well, not that specifically. It's not but, coming for everybody. Well, yeah. Not that specifically, but yeah. a lot of people are getting jammed up on what they've been saying and, you know. On podcast down, yeah. yeah, young thug down, yeah. Some other comics obviously have run into trouble, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It happens. I'm, I'm kind of mad. If you were to get publicly what, disgraced, what would you? you I think it canceled. I was at a fucking I rem dude. Every single when it, when it, the SNL thing was happening, every single comedian was like, "Well, if they're getting him, they're gonna get everybody." And I, in my head, the whole time, I was like, "They're not gonna get you." Yeah, not you. Well, they didn't get me. I mean, it, I, I did the same gig as him and Louis, and. 
they were like, ah, oh, man, I, you know, uh, Louis, they were protesting outside. Him, they were protesting. Yeah. And I just had middle-aged fat couples walking in going, hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Half-filled room. <laughs> yeah, true. You got to get stinks. canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get down. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack the shit out of my wife today, yeah, dude. Fire it up. I'm gonna did you see that? It. I, that was another scandal. Oh, I saw. Dana White. What, Dana? D White, dude. Dana White hit her with the fucking. How could she slap? <laughs> Fully. <laughs> he did a full like running. Yeah, dude. She slapped him, and he was like, "No hesitation." Couple, couple. Yeah, but yeah. he was trying to console her a little bit. After. Hang on, before you fucking. <laughs> Here's you my. Here now this comes. is good. This is this good. is good. He was trying to console her. She was having a little trouble, right? He yeah. was trying to console her. She was walking by, and he said something. Probably, "Hey, you're gonna be all right." Fucking relax. And yeah. relax or something, which never works. And she smacked him in the face. And instinctually, being in the fight game, it's a muscle. It's a muscle. Yeah, it's reflex. A quick twitch. Yeah, it's a twitch. It's like you know what I mean. Yeah. You I counted. Mean, he's taking boxing all the time. Bang, whack! It just happened. And as soon as it happened, what do you do after that? What would you go? There it is right up. there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, now, wait a minute now. Well, okay. she was wobbled. He went to finish. <laughs> <laughs> he went for the finish. I mean, I that's... wish Herb Dean was there to pull him off. <laughs> <laughs> Dive in. <laughs> Damn. That blows. Like, you're up on a balcony at a party. So like, <laughs> what are the odds? So, someone's going to take the, the, the video of, 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 uh, of uh, Comier and, and Rogan going, whoa! Yeah. 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 And put that right where he is. Because <laughs> that was a fucking whack. I mean, that was. You don't hit women. You mush them. Yeah. Right. Uh, he probably had a couple of drinks up there. No, he did. He said alcohol balcony. played a role. It was New Year's he's, Eve. He's he said no excuse, but alcohol no excuse. played a role. Yeah, if a girl hits you, you no take excuse, her face but I was and fucked you mush up. her. <laughs> yeah. You have a mush a girl? No, I've I've restrained women from hitting me though. Restrained. Yo, bear hug. <laughs> Push out the car. Yeah, I did. I, Push out the car. <laughs> I restrained my arm. wife once. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, what happened? It's part of the whole process. I, I I I hit it with chicken one time. You threw chicken at your wife? Well, I threw chicken. I tried to throw it off the balcony, but it slipped and slapped her in the fucking face. <laughs> what and kind of what piece are we talking? Like it was drumstick? a breast. It was Ooh. a breast. Yeah. It was no a offense, slap. Bobby, but I bet there wasn't a lot of meat left on that bone. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fat joke? Yeah. yeah. This is what I don't like about him. That he was he was enjoying he's waiting, it. He, was he did a Mr. Roper. As he did it, he went. <laughs> this is what I don't like about that. He didn't let us enjoy it first. He enjoyed it just as much as he was doing it. Oh man. See, here I have you on for a full episode. I have so many nice questions for you. Ask me one more before I leave. I just, it's it's going to be corny. Wow. You're going to make fun of me. No, I won't. No, it's just how fun was it talking shit with like Voss and all those guys when it was like actual shit talking? It was, an, like, it was a nightmare. Yeah? You didn't yeah, like it? Yeah, it was the fucking worst thing ever. Your self-esteem was on the fucking, <laughs> every time you went in, I was nervous. I, I listen I, to the, my I, favorite I, thing to listen to is Colin versus Voss. That's a it's an O&A the, comp compilation of those guys making fun of each other. Yeah, it's and funny it's, shit. Colin was one of the, the best. Yeah, because Colin, he just had it. He just knew. He sized you up like a year ago, and had it, a file on you. You know what I mean? I was the worst because I would just say terrible things. Yeah. Like you know, Patrice one time fucked with me and did a really funny joke. I forget what it was, and I was like, "Yeah, well, you least have diabetes and you're gonna die." And Patrice went, "Bobby, I do." Have diabetes yeah. and I, I'm dying. What the fuck? And I was like, I'm sorry. That is always the best reverse, though, to make them feel bad. Well, it's yeah. a classic reverse. Norton yeah. was Norton was vicious, uh, and Patrice was bad, but Colin was fucking terrible. Yeah, Louis was bad too. Yeah, he was a little cunty. The, yeah, he was. He cunty. was like smarter than everyone. He'd he get was you. cunty. Like yeah. I remember, he bitched Patrice one day. He came in. Patrice started fucking with him and. <laughs> Louis just pulled some smart guy shit. Ugh. He went, are you going to do that? Is that what you're going to do the whole time I talk? Is just talk over me and, and yeah, say, yeah, yeah. make fun of shit I say? Is that what you're going to do the whole time? And Patrice went, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then none of us said anything the whole time. And Louis was like, the thing about film is... Uh, <laughs> and we just listened. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, the Voss was nice, though. Voss yeah. was good. Yeah, but you Voss guys, was a punching bag dude, that yeah. would just occasionally, the second he swung back, everyone in the room was like, get him, Voss. Dude, how about him at Digital Graffiti? That was incredible. Unbelievable. 
It was we we did if a we show did that where to Bobby, he would have punched us in the face. We did a what show. Was it, uh, dude? It, it's a great show. It's it is fun. We've, we've been talking about doing it again for seven years. We, we haven't done it. We'll do it. But here's the thing, like, <laughs> hold up, Bobby. You got to hear this show. You got to enjoy the show. So okay. you're on stage. There's a screen behind you, oh, and a boy. bunch of comics are in a group chat making fun of you while you're trying to do stand up, and all the stuff they're saying goes on a screen behind you. It's as projected. You try to do the entire audience can see what everyone's saying about you, and they're you laughing. can't turn around. You can't see it. It's the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life but it, it it hurts my feeling now knowing what you say about me well yeah that's the thing and then you're thinking you can't, you can't see, it. see it so you're like oh, they're saying the worst things ever and the crowd's good. dying you know we, we didn't tell voss he did 15 that, that was the show he did 15 you didn't minutes. tell him we asked him to host because <laughs> that was the only headliner i knew and i was like voss can you please host this show and he was like yeah of course he did it as a nice favor for me and then he got on stage and people were just fucking destroying him. but he dude he didn't even everyone else would have lost him. their fucking minds he didn't know this was a show he leaned forward and was reading the projector and just went back at all of us dude, it, was it, was incredible. it was the funniest shit i've ever seen he they, but we used to do that to each other like we used to go like if someone was on stage at the cellar we would go downstairs and sit in the front row oh. and trash them while they were on stage That's at funny. the cellar I we like to go. To it's it's very fun to go stand in the doorway. That's the best. Especially if someone's bombing and just standing back there. Going, it just look like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah, that is fun. You wait. What did you do to Kevin? You, Hart? you you got we uh, we threw phone books at him one night. While he was on stage. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this story. Yeah. yeah, we did. We did hard shit. Boston Comedy Club. We used to do that shit all the time. Mm. But you guys, are, you guys are just as mean as us, if not meaner. You, Big J, Soda, List, Lewis. Ari, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. I, I love that. DeRosa. De, yeah. De, <laughs> I know. That's that's literally the reaction every time. DeRosa, yeah, but, everyone's just, oh, Yeah, but DeRosa, you, DeRosa will come out swearing that you get him once on something that's they real. Go, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, my so sandwich is That's actually good. fucked up. Dude, dude, I take a lot of, it takes a long <laughs> time you. to make roast Thank beef, you. Dude. Bobby, he does this to me all the time. I'll walk into a room, the first thing he'll say is he'll be like, fat joke or something nasty and i'll be like all right everybody he started it right. just so we're all clear because <laughs> yeah. in 10 minutes he's gonna be going you take it too far dude we used to be friends it's like all that shit but yeah he's he's yeah he's fucking he's such a fucker <laughs> yeah, he i love him he's one of my favorite but yeah people. But we get all the credit for this shit like you guys the way it used to be but you guys still do it we don't have a place to do it anymore though what do you mean you guys used to have the cellar oh to go with we the don't have a place where we all hang out now yeah, because you guys are all fucking fame fuckers, man. <laughs> Look at your producers giggling because they know. <laughs> That's not true. We yeah, just don't have like, it. Yeah, you guys are fucking fame fuckers. You guys are all individual fucking let me, God. every man for himself, dude. We what were, we what were, are we supposed to do? We were in it together. Let's not, let's not, let's fuck fame and money. Let's just. Let's Where just, should we go? Let's stay at the cellar and never make it. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple it. guys hanging on to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them. God damn it. I gotta fucking be there at three o'clock. Yeah, you're a mean guy. No, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I mean, you seem like a very nice person. Uh, everyone Matt's everyone, very, everyone very tries nice. to divide and conquer every single no, time. No, I'm not going to divide and conquer you at all. I'm, I'm sure you're with him, so there's something in you that's bad. There's something in you that's sour. You know what I mean? I understand that. There, you know, there's right. Bonnie and Clyde. You're I get right. it. Right. You know what I mean? But, Wait, why am I bad? You're, you're, you're a mean person. This you're, is outrageous. <laughs> oh, it's not. You're a fuck. Listen to me, Shane. I really, I've loved you from the beginning, but you're a fucking mean, vicious, no empathy. If you didn't do comedy, <laughs> you you would fucking murder people. Like you would collect money for some mob. Yeah, you're Why like you you're that? like the Iceman cometh. Dude, he's a sweetheart. I'm. I. He's a sweetheart. This is outrageous. Now, this is what that tells me. What? That you're the mastermind. You're really Please. the piece of shit. Is, is he flipping the divide no, You want to know for I'm not flipping the nothing. You want to know the true evil? Yeah, you're true the guy. Evil, dude. Yeah, I know. I know he's a piece of shit. I wear my heart shit. on my sleeve, dude. That's this why guy. he stays in Philly. <laughs> yep. Because he can't come here because they'll, they'll expose what a piece of shit he is. Yes. Never, dude. Yeah, yeah. But you're you're definitely a vicious person. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're vicious. You're mean. Bobby, I love you. I got nothing I love you too, buddy. You know that I love you. But this should help you. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully this helps. Fucking, Guys, check out Killbox. Help. Check out Killbox. I hope it helps. It, yeah, it should. Oh, nice. man. I'll see you guys then. I got to go. Dude, thanks for doing this. Dude, I, I would like to come back on for yeah, a full let's episode. Yeah, let's do it next week. Please. Well, not next week. Let's wait a little while. All right. Was I don't this, want, no. What was more fun, here or downstairs?
I don't want to say, dude. <laughs> Be honest here. What's better? There's more comfortable. If we had to do like an this? exclusive yeah. thing where you, if you do this one, you can't do that one. Which one would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to fill a couple seats and well, sell it, some it, fucking <laughs> specials. That's good. That so, brings us to our next point. You do have to tell them, delete that. Delete, delete the one that You says? have to tell them, delete that or this does not get shown. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do this from now on with every Stuff Island guest. <laughs> we're gonna say you have to delete that episode. <laughs> delete <your last> episode. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he going? Yeah. Hey, buddy, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing good, buddy. Listen, I had a great time, man. I really appreciate it. You're the fucking man. Uh, Thanks for everything. Do me a favor, though. You got to delete both episodes. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right, no problem. Um, yeah, no, I'm, listen, dude, I'm serious. You got to <laughs> get rid of both of them. No evidence of it because uh, I'm I'm doing upstairs right now, and I guess that's the new rule. It's either one or the other. Oh, okay. That's cool. We'll release today. No, no, no. <laughs> I, want, I want you to delete we're gonna yours. Up, we're going to up. We're going to up. We're going to upload No, 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 no. I'm going to unplug the electricity and the internet in this <laughs> fucking house. Run it. No. Cancel it. Tommy, I'm serious. I'll fight everyone up there. <laughs> That's not. It's, it's a fucking alcoholic and a, a fucking substitute t shirt. It's not saying much. You fucking ruined every room. You got, a, I think, an Indian and a fucking mustache <laughs> asshole. Well, really? You're going to fight everybody? Good for you, you tough guy. Go fuck yourself. Delete it. That's a walk off. Oh, my God. Hey, yeah. yeah, I love you too. Oh, thanks again, man. Maybe I'll thanks. see you uh, Friday, hopefully. I'll see you Friday. All right, I'll come down earlier. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> see what we say. Yeah. God, what a what a great guy. Unbelievable. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Damn. What a treat. What a fucking absolute treat. What dude. a treat. What a treasure. He's awesome. Absolute be absolute beast. Dickhead. Dude. <laughs> what a dickhead. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> great guy. Great guy. We to, said great guy. Dude, to personally attack somebody like that. <laughs> what a beast. Oh man. Man. Yeah, that's what we ever done. It's nice. Not, Let's switch over to the Patreon. I got a nice ooh. Kid Rock story for you. Yeah, I have. Ooh, join the Patreon. Dude, I have. I had a. It's not going to sway anyone, but I had a very intense dream last night. I was hoping there was some dream Movie talk. Movie stuff, dude. I was hoping there was dream talk. No, was it good? It was really good. I'm Crazy. excited for the dream Movie talk. Movie stuff, dude. Dream talk. Kid Rock story from Nashville. Mm -hmm. Join the Patreon, dude. Mm -hmm. Also, for real, check out Killbox. Yeah. Uh, Bobby's special. Bobby is really good at stand-up comedy. He's very funny. Goodbye. Thank you.